Mass Effect Andromeda's combat has seen some fundamental changes from the series' previous games. You're more mobile with the help of your jump jet, powers can be combined for brutal combos, and classes are no longer really a thing. But don't worry, we've got all the hot tips on how to make your way through Andromeda's dangerous worlds. If you're interested in some more general advice for the game, check out tips to start your journey in Mass Effect Andromeda, and sub for even more videos. Let's do this. With no class restrictions, you're allowed to put points into every skill. Sometimes you need to invest a certain number of points in that tree for some of the heavier skills like Biotic Charge to unlock, but you will eventually unlock everything. You won't, however, get enough points to maximize everything. My recommendation? Put one point into every skill and mess with all of them. Find out which skills work best for you, and then head to the Tempest Med Bay to respec yourself for a small fee. Now you can invest more heavily in the skills you want. It's easy to overlook them, but don't forget about profiles. The base use for profiles is the percentage bonuses they give. Soldier improves guns, Engineer improves tech skills, Adept improves biotics, you get the idea. The best way to handle this is to pick the skills you want and then assign the profile that fits the best. Profiles also increase in rank the more skills you invest in a tree. The really cool aspect of the profiles, though, is the bonus abilities they give. Engineer adds a combat drone to assist you, Infiltrator cloaks you while evading, which makes it a great pairing with the cloaking ability, but it also lets you see enemies through walls while scoping, making it ideal for sniping. My personal favorite is Explorer, which replaces the evade with a biotic blink, letting you teleport through most objects. Take the time to play around with what profile works best with your skills and weapons. Once you have a set of skills and the profile pairing you like, set them to your favorites from the Profile or Skills menu. This allows you to quickly switch between four different styles on the fly mid-combat. Just be warned, anytime you switch, the powers will be on cooldown. Alright, let's talk power combos. Pulling these off deals high damage and looks awesome, so you really want to build your loadouts around these. There are skills that act as combo primers and combo detonators. Reading the power descriptions will tell you what skill is which and gives you some good starting suggestions. For example, combining pull and throw. Simply hold down pull to bring them towards you, aim, and then press throw. This is by far the most fun combo for its sheer comedic value and multiple applications. Maybe getting a little target practice with your sniper rifle. And it doesn't just work on enemies, but the many explosive containers lying around as well. If just hurling people into space isn't enough for you, equip Biotic Charge as your third skill and launch yourself after them. And if they're still not dead, finish them off with a ground pound. Biotic Charge pairs with other skills as well. Cryo Beam will freeze enemies in place and, well... You get the idea. Let's talk my favorite skill. The Flamethrower. It's great for dealing with groups, and the best way to bunch everyone together is with a Singularity. Singularity will work great with any ability that does radius damage, such as Concussion Blast. Speaking of which, if you toast with the Flamethrower and then hit with a Concussion Blast, it creates a nice bonus explosion. Doing all these fun combos requires enemies to lose their shields or armor first, so it's not a bad idea to make your third power overload, energy drain, or incinerate. There are dozens of skill combos, so let me know some of your favorites, and for more Andromeda videos, watch our mini-documentary series, The Story of Mass Effect Andromeda, and check out our full review.